Taxonomy is our ability to tell different forms of life apart. Everybody does taxonomy. When you go to the store and you buy you know, a beef steak or pork chops, you're doing taxonomy. One is pork, one is beef. Right? If you go out fishing and you catch a redfish or a channel bass, well, it's the same thing. We may have different names for it, but taxonomically it's the same species. Those are different names, but they're different than a sea trout. All our interactions with nature involve identifying things, and taxonomy is just that. And, and, and everybody does it. There's folk taxonomy of you know, what we do as uh, average uh, public uh, involved with living organisms out there. And of course, doing that in a more rigorous scientific way is scientific taxonomy. So a good, a good example is um, you, know, you, you bring back animals from the field. I mean, right in front of me is a collection that uh, one of our students made in Australia. And there is a sea star. You can see how colorful the liquid is. Uh, because all of the color that was in the sea star is gone. Now, taxonomists would have looked at this, and they had no idea what color this thing was. So color was gone, unless you recorded it in the field. So in the old days, much of taxonomy couldn't rely on color because it wasn't preserved in the specimen. Today, we can, we can then not only look at the specimens and see if they're the same, but we can also take photographs of them. We can take uh, DNA samples from them, sequence them. And, and all of these help us tell uh, species apart. So not everything on Earth is so easy to identify, and, and there are many reasons for it, but basically the large organisms that are close to us, the trees, the birds, especially things on land, in the ocean, the larger species like the fishes, the whales, and so forth, are pretty well known. But the smaller organisms, the insects, the sea stars, the crabs, uh, worms, and so forth, are, are pretty poorly known. So a lot of what we do has to do with um, uh, coming up with uh, ways to tell these species apart and providing other workers and the public with tools to do so. Thank you.